fine. Thank you. One second. Good afternoon, children. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, we were doing our uh, workbook problems, right? Yes. Uh, I think we have uh, completed till question number 16. Is it just open your book and check? Isn't it? Till conversion. We have to start with I apply from the word problems. We have to start from the word problems. Isn't it? Ma'am, we didn't do 16th question. 16th, we did not do? No, ma'am, it is a homework. Come, give it was us homework. and it was... uh, next week, okay, was homework. Yes. Yes. Uh, two problems we did in the class. I told we, you have to, uh, in the answer, you have to use and. Isn't it? Do you remember? Like, whether you want me to do once again? No, no, already it is done. How many of you have done? Okay. Ma'am, in the last class, ma'am, in the last oh. class, uh, I was, there was some network issue, so I didn't hear you. Okay, we will start with the 16th one now. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, I have network issues here, uh, okay. so my video will be off sometime. Okay, it's okay. No, no. Okay, so I'm going, Hazel has done. Good. Good, dear. Now I'm going to share the board. Ma'am. Yes. I was, uh, was not there at uh, the last class. Okay, you won. You just try to do only conversion was there. Only conversion is there till question number 16. All the questions are based yes. on conversion. Okay. And did you uh, workbook questions? Oh, we have started our workbook problems in the last class. We have, come, we have started our workbook problems and we have completed till question number 16, I think. So anyway, we are start going to start with question number 16 again. Those who have not done can do it now. Ma'am, can you send the workbook notes? Uh, during the exam, at last. Okay, before that, you have to just try to do. We are doing all the problems in the class now. So it's page number workbook part two. I'm at page number 50. Page number 50 workbook part two. Page number 50. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. It is 2C class. No, it's 4A. So what is what, what is in the book? 1250 class 2C. It is in Webex. Two yes. classes there. One time also. One time give English. Check once class. again. Okay, Check once again, dear. It is in my bags. It is in my bags. Okay. It's question page number fifty. Is it? Is it yes, fifty? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Page number fifty. Page number fifty. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, question number 16. What happened? Who called me? Okay. So the question is 336,851 pesos is equal to you have to convert into rupees and pesos. So the last two digits will go to pesos side. All other digits will be for rupees, isn't it? So what you have to do here is you have to just put the symbol and write all the digits. All leave the last three digits, la leave, leave the last two digits and all other digits has to be written together like this. 
rupees 368 and 51 paise. Okay, this is A. Now B. Is Ma there any can, point? Can we write like uh, three 3,608.51? No, because the previous one was also like that, no? So just for making a change in the answers. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, uh, for the B1 after the number, after 237, there is a dash in the workbook. There is a me. dash or point? Ma'am, it is dash. There is a small dash. 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 In, my, in my workbook, it is not there, ma. Huh? In my workbook, it's not there. Workbook? Ma'am, in my work workbook also, it's not the... Yeah, I, I did not see any dash. It's a dash between 237 and 49 pesos. Uh, just cut that dash, dear. Okay, the dash is not there. Okay, so for this answer, what will be the answer of B? The two digits, the last two digits will go to passage side. Just underline it. Just for avoiding the mistake, just un underline it. And then... One of you just uh, tell me the answer, Joyric. Unmute, Joyric. I did not mute anybody. Ma'am, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Rupees 23.49 Rupees? Paise. Rupees? 23. 23. Yes. 23 and? 23 and seven, hmm. 749 paise. No. Paise will have only two digits. Paise will not have three digits because one rupee is equal to 100 paise. Rupee one is equal to 100 paise. 100 has only two zeros. So for the paise side, only two digits should be there. So this will be your yeah, mistake. So what it, what will be the answer? What should be the answer? That's what I told. For just for avoiding mistake, when you will get the question, what you have to do first is underline the last two digits. Now what will be the answer, Jairik? Do the correction. Unmute. Ma'am? Yes. 23.49. What about? Rupees? Hmm. 237.49. Hmm. 237 and 49 per Excuse me, ma'am. Can I yes. do the second or third? Question number C, 484. What I am going to do now is I am going to mute everybody because I don't want any disturbances like this. 48,692 pesos is equal to... equal to Janvi. Ma'am, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Ma'am, rupees 486 and yes. 92 paise. Good. 486 and 92 paise. This is the answer of C. Now moving to D. 19,652 pesos is equal to Arjun. Okay, ma'am. Rupees hmm. 196 Rupees. and yes. 52 pesos. Yes, good. So this is the answer of question number 16.
now moving to question number 17. Question number 17. Uh, Vedika, read the question and tell me what is to be done there. Yes, ma'am. Shyam has 6,700. Shyam has? Shyam has. Ma'am, hmm. can you hear me? Yes, yes. Shyam has? Shyam has. Hmm. 67,899 paise. Hmm. Hmm. Convert the amount to rupees. Yes. So since it is a word problem, you have to write the statements. What should be the first statement here? Um, Shyam has 6,700. Yes. Amount. Who is touching the board? Amount Shyam has. Let it be in Pesi. Shyam has in Pesi is equal to 67,899 Pesi. Then we have to convert it. So let the second statement be amount Shyam has this time you have to convert into rupees in rupees is equal to Vedika how we will convert into rupees yes, mm. you can just put a point rupees uh, rupees 678.99. Yes. yes, the last two digits will go for Pesi. After the last two digits, put a point. That's all. good. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Amount Shyam has in Pesi is 67,899 Pesi. Then amount Shyam has in rupees. Now question number 18. Sri Rukda, read the 18th one dear. Yes, ma'am. 18th question. Read the 18th one. Anu has hmm. 5,500 paise and Rhea has rupees 55. Do they both have the same amount of money? Yes. Anu's, uh, Anu's amount is given in paise and Rhea's amount is given in rupees. So what you have to do here is you have to make both the amount in paise and you have to compare. Which is, which who is having more or who is having less or whether they have the same amount of money. So what you have to do is the first statement. Amount. Anu has. Let's put a bracket and write in Pese is equal to. 5,500 5, pesi. Then amount Ria has. It is given in rupees. 
प्लीज म्यूट This given in rupees, just convert in paise. Amount Ria has in rupees is rupees fifty-five in paise. In the next line, write in paise. So who is sitting unmuted? Now convert rupees fifty-five into paise. Adveta, no need of uh, writing the steps and all. Directly you can convert it. Adveta Sanish. Okay. Yes, convert in, convert into paise, dear. Rupees fifty-five. How we will convert into paise? What do you have to do there? For converting into paise, rupees is to be multiplied with which number? And now I don't get. Hill Teresa, for converting rupees to paise. By which number we have to multiply the given amount? By hundred. Good. So fifty-five is to be multiplied with hundred. Srenga, what will be the answer now? My marginal point. Fifty-five into hundred. Um. Five. Five thousand and five hundred. Yes, five thousand five hundred. Now, when you multiply with hundred, you have converted into paise. So, the unit can be written as paise. So, amount Anu has is five thousand five hundred paise. Amount Ria has is also five thousand five hundred paise. So, at last, what you will write over there, whether they have the same amount of money. Maya sir, whether they have the same amount? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Have. Yes. Good. So they have the same amount of money. So the question is, where do they have the same amount of money? So at last, you write yes. Put a comma. Yes. Yes. Put a comma and write they have the same. Doubt on that one. Ma'am, shouldn't be the Put after fifty-five into hundred. Should we write the plus this one and all? Huh? Plus zero and all. What is that? And after rupees fifty-five into hundred, should we write plus zero and all? No need. Okay, ma'am. Paise is not given. No, if point was given, you have to add it. Since nothing is given about point, no, nothing is written about paise. No need of adding with paise. Just multiply with hundred and make it paise. Yes, they have the same amount of money. This is the final answer. Amount Anu has, amount Ria has. At last, yes, they have the same amount of money. Now move to the next page. Finished. Now question number nineteen. Catherine, read the nineteenth one. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, 
Rahmat has four thousand. Enki has three thousand four hundred. No, it's not uh, four thousand. It is forty thousand. Okay, she. Express the amount of. Express the amount of money each one has in rupees. Who has more amount than the others? So the amount, all the amounts are given in paise. Now what you have to do is first you have to convert into rupees. Then you have to check who has got more amount. Okay, so Rahmat has forty thousand eight hundred and thirty-two paise. So can I mute? Yes, yes. So the space is provided for writing all the statements and all clearly, isn't it? So first statement, amount. Aditya, what will be the first statement? Amount. Okay, amount Rahmat has in paise. Then, how you will convert into rupees? Aditya, did you unmute? Aditya Krishna. Now, after this, you have to convert into rupees because in the question it is told to convert into rupees. So directly, you can put a point and you can convert it. Let me see where is Aditya. What happened, Aditya? Just speak. Let me see whether I can hear you. Aditya. Okay. Think so he is having some audio problem. Sringa VS convert into rupees, dear. It is given in paise. How we will convert into rupees? Sringa. Then we can yes. multiply by hundred. Rupees to paise into hundred. Paise to rupees. Divided by 100, just put a point. Okay, ma'am. 408.82 pencil. Yes, 408.82. That's right. Oh, God. Mute. So, amount Rahmat has. In paise, it is 40,882. When you will convert into rupees, you have to just put a point after leaving two digits from the right side. Now, next step, next statement and the conversion, even. Yes, ma'am. Next statement here, amount, who has? Venki. Amount, Venki, Venki has. has. In Pese, it is given as in Pese, the amount is given uh, 24,490. Yes, when you will convert into rupees, then in the next line, right in rupees, when you will convert into rupees, what will be the amount? Uh, 344.90. Yes, good. Now, at last, we will compare. Good. Good, dear. Now, Alex, the last step, the last statement, amount. Do you have the text a workbook with you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, 
read it rahmat sees over venki sees over who is the last person danu has nanu amount yes um, 98989 rupees paisa okay now convert That's into rupees convert into rupees alex convert into rupees 9989 paisa yes good Nine hundred and eighty-nine point eight nine. So these are the statement. First amount Rahmat has in paise. The amount that is given in the question as it is it written on the board. Then we are converting into rupees. Then the amount when Venki has is written in paise first. Then it is converted to rupees. Then amount Tanu has first it is. Written in paise, then converted to rupees. Now the amount are four hundred and eight point eight two, three hundred and forty four point nine zero, nine hundred and eighty nine point eight nine. Now by looking at the numbers itself, we can uh, we will get who is having the greater amount, who is having more amount, isn't it? The first number is starting with four, three, nine. Adidev M B, who is having more amount? Ma'am, can you hear me? Yes, yes, my dear, I can hear. Ma'am. Hmm. Tanu has. Yes, Tanu more has amount. more amount. Good. Ramath has four hundred and eight. Venki has three hundred and forty-four. Tanu has nine hundred and eighty eight eighty nine. So at last in the line, you have to write Tanu has more amount than others. Next one, I am giving as homework. Manu has uh, rupees four hundred and thirty-one point seven five. Then Prachi has rupees nine hundred and eighty-seven point five nine. And Tina has rupees eight hundred and twenty-nine point four six. What do you have to do here? You have to convert into paise. How many paise does each of them have? So. Uh, in question number nineteen, in this one, you have written amount Rahmat has in paise. In the next one, the first statement I will write. After that, you have to write by yourself. Four hundred and eight point three two. Okay. Sorry, children. There is a correction. Four hundred and eight. This is three. For forty thousand eight hundred and thirty-two, four hundred and eight point three two. Yes, thank you, Maya sir. Okay, do one thing. I'm a. Uh, do question number 20 now in the class then we will discuss the answer the first statement i am going to write on the board i was thinking to give as homework but you do it now that's better manu has first step amount 
manu has in rupees is equal to rupees 431.75 in the next line you have to convert it into paise so what will be the amount hazel what will be the amount in paise uh Four hundred and thirty-one point seven five. Ah, that is rupees. Point is there, no? That is uh, given in rupees. When you will write in paise, what you have to do do is just remove the point and write all the amount together, all the digits together. No need of uh, doing the multiplication and addition and all. Just remove the point and write all the digits together. So, what will be the amount? Uh. Uh, Anne Maria, convert the amount into paise. Four thousand forty three thousand one hundred and seventy. Yes, that's all. In the word problems here, no need of doing any conversions and all. Just remove the point and write all the digit, digits together. Then it will be passive. So from next statement onwards, do by yourself. Next statement: amount Prachi has. First you write in rupees, then convert into passive. Then amount Tina has. First you write in rupees, then convert into passive. Then at last you have to write. Whose amount is lesser in compare? Who has the least amount? Yes, Janvi. Excuse me, ma'am. In the yes. nineteenth question, you have written as R A H M M E T. Is it E D? No, ma'am. It is A T. A T. Okay. Let it be A T. Correct it. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, dear. Okay, the spelling mistake is there. In my I have a copy of the work workbook, so I think so. Some mistake is there in the copy. It is A D A T, isn't it? Correct it. Okay, I'm not able to rub also. Uh, Eighty, Rahmat. Amount Manu has in rupees. Amount then in paise. Then amount Prachi has. Then amount Tina has. Then at last compare the numbers. All the numbers have five digits, isn't it? So just compare the first digit.
children, the absentees are Adidev MJ. Uh, Amaya is absent, right? The absentees are Adidev MJ, Amaya KN, uh, Ayn, Jovan, Sweden Paul, and Dhananjay. Oh, say, oh, I mean, okay, the time is up. Joan is present, okay. Amaya is also present, okay. I do not uh, see your name, that's why. Sorry. So, what about Azad and Adidev MJ? Okay, Niran. Adidev MJ, Sweden, and then NJ are absent. Adira, who has got a lesser amount? Who has got the least amount? She has no problem. Hadi, who has the least amount? Hadi is not at all responding. Prathana, who has the Ma least amount of money? Manu has the least amount of money. Manu, Manu has the least amount of money. Good. At last, you have to write, Manu has the least amount of money. Good. Prachi has nine, nine ninety-eight thousand seven hundred and fifty-nine. Tina has eighty-two thousand nine hundred and forty-six. So compare the first digit. Four is lesser, so Manu has the least amount. Okay. Okay, children, the time is up. Uh, we will do rest of the problems in the next class. So you have to be ready with the workbook itself. Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, in my workbook, uh, the name first is showing Tina has a uh, rupee is 129 points. Yes, you have to convert uh, it, it to peso, no? Ma'am, but, uh, but um, yes, but I mean, my workbook it's showing Tina has rupees eight hundred and nine twenty nine point four six and after that a point is there. Ma'am, that is a full that's stop. A full stop. stop. Ma'am, that's a full stop. Point. stop. Yeah. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Okay. I'm gonna send me yes. the Okay, children. So we will meet in the next class. Thank you, dears. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.